Hello, and welcome to Clouder. This short tutorial is part of our Clouder Essentials series, a set of video resources for organizers. This brief video will cover how to manage the people in your program with Clouder and explain their relationship to content, events, and registrants at your conference. In Clouder, people are all the individuals associated with your program. One of the most important parts of setting up your conference in Clouder is determining how people will interact with content and events. First, let's take a look at people and content. Assigning a person a role in content allows us to show attendees the authors, presenters, chairs, and more of each item at the conference. Next, let's take a look at events. Linking people to events means we can decide who is doing what during an event. This allows people to access and control the backstage area of events that they are presenting in or chairing. It also enables ordinary attendees to participate in live streams. Lastly, you'll notice that in Clouder, we also have registrants, most of whom will be your attendees. Registrants determine who can log into Clouder and access your conference. Registrants and people are linked so Clouder knows which users correspond to which people in the program. This enables Clouder to show the backstage areas to the relevant users, manage permissions, and more. You can have people in your program who are not registered for your conference. For example, authors may be listed in the people of your conference but not registered. This way, attendees know they're an author of a paper but the author can only log into the conference and have a profile if they are registered. Now that we've covered the relationship between people, content, events, and registrants at a high level, let's jump into Clouder and see what managing people looks like. Here we find ourselves on the admin dashboard. From here, there are several different ways to access and manage people in Clouder. Let's start with content. Ideally, content and people are added to Clouder around the same time and should be one of the earlier steps in the setup process. You can do this in bulk by using the importer and one of our template spreadsheets. In the content area, we see a few content items have already been created. Each of these items will have one or more individuals assigned to it. To manage the list of people that will be assigned to your content, head back to the dashboard and navigate to Program People. This page shows us which people have already been either individually or batch imported to our conference. We can see options to add new people and to auto link registrants. We can add a person by clicking the green plus sign, entering a name, entering an affiliation, and lastly, adding an email. We also have the option of selecting a corresponding registrant. Closer to the opening date of your conference, after adding or importing registrants to Clouder, you can come back and use the auto link feature to match registrants to people in your program. This will attempt to find unique matches between registrants and the people in your program based on their email address or name. If the auto linker can't find a unique match, for example, if there are two people with the same name, you can use the registrant column to manually match a person to a registrant. And just like that, we've created people in our program and linked them to our registrants. We have created people in the program, but we need to know which content items they belong with. From here, organizers can manage people who are assigned to individual content items. For example, we can assign authors to each of the papers. Here, we've selected a content item, opened up the sidebar, and navigated to the people section at the top. Once we click manage content people, we see a new dialog open up where we can see the different people listed in our program. To associate a person to this paper, click the individual, select the appropriate role, and we are able to select the priority of the individual 
which translates to the order that they're listed on the content item. For example, this would determine the author order on a paper. Now that we've explored what managing people looks like in relation to content, let's see what people look like in events. We can access events from the schedule section in the admin dashboard. We can see here that we've already pre-created rooms and we have a couple of events already populated. From here, we can assign a role to a person within a specific event. This does not affect their role in relation to content. First, let's edit an event by clicking the edit button. The sidebar will appear with a Manage Event People button. The Manage Event People dialog will open. We can now add a person. We are prompted to select the individual from the people we have previously added to our program and assign a role that we want associated with this event. We've now linked people to your event. If we click on Add People to Events, on the main events page, we are able to batch assign a person or people to all selected events. This can be done by either copying the roles from content, selecting a single person, copying people from a registration group, for example, organizers who might want to be assigned to all keynotes, or selecting a single registrant. Now we are back at the main events menu. Now you have an understanding of how people relate to content, events, and registrants. Thank you for choosing Clouder.